Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a spotlight on Pure Pool. This is a pool game that was just released on Steam. It's available for $12.99. This was also just released on PS4, presumably same price, but I haven't looked because I don't have a PS4. Let's do that. This is what you start off at. You got this swooping intro and then you start here. So presumably, you're in the game this this is this is the game no no it's not there is actually a menu that it doesn't bring you to right off the bat you have to hit escape and then it brings you to this nice little simple menu nothing too spectacular keeps your keeps focus on the actual game that you're playing just kind of pauses it sort of you can see the movement in the background you know you can check out my games and oh wait you can't you have to come over here and click back, and then players, and back, and career, and back. This is a PC port of a console game. That, that, that's all you can say about this. This is a PC port of a console game. It's not a game that was developed for both PC and console in mind. This was developed for console in mind, and PC was a secondary thing. And it just, it shows in the menu. This, the air connecting to the Pure Pearl servers, this has been out for a few days now. And there's still issues connecting to the server. Every once in a while, it pops up. And then you see everybody and their brother who is in the game constantly pop up, pop up. It will probably happen during this video. So. This, this is an effort in frustration on PC. It, it, it's kind of a joke. Like, I should be able to just click down through these when using a mouse and keyboard. I understand that on console, you can't do that. So there we go. We're now, we're now seeing is now online. It's just going to keep, keep popping up. And who cares? Like, why is that even there? Why is that a thing? I read on the forums that that's a bug. That seems like a really weird bug. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. You know, I, I, this this is frustrating. Having to go to the other side of the screen. This is wasting my time. This is wasting your time. It, it's just it's irritating, is what it is on a PC game in this day and age that you can't navigate the menu in a logical fashion. I, it, it's mind-boggling to me, but whatever. I, I, I'll, I'll accept it. It's frustrating, but I'll accept it. So let's take a look at what we've got in this player's list. Oh, we've got a massive, massive clusterfuck, and I can't scroll down the list. I have to go down one at a time. Again, I'm on PC here. I have a scroll wheel that I should be able to go faster. Like, I am whipping this scroll wheel, like, to the point where it's actually moving my mouse. I, I, what the hell? Come on, people. Okay, I wanna sort by friends. So there's all my friends. That's my entire friends list. <laughs> and then local players. These are AI, or in the case of Player 2 and Tutorial, Player 2 is a Player 2. It's an actual someone sitting beside you. You know, you can both use the same keyboard and mouse or both use the same controller. This does have full controller support. It also has mouse and keyboard support. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hit two player because actually let's talk about the AI first. Let's, let's talk about this AI because it's, they describe it as using as a DNA system where they they take like the DNA from the other players and the AI plays just like them. In my experience with it so far, they're all the same. It doesn't matter whether they're amateur, pro, or master. The amateur kicked my ass faster than the master. Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not a good pool player. I will admit I suck at pool. But an amateur, I would consider myself an amateur. 
Like, I would expect an amateur to miss a shot, you know, make a mistake. No, 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 no. There, if, if that shot can be lined up and isn't a fancy trick shot, they're hitting it. They are taking it. You know they're taking it. I can't do that, even with the helping lines that they have. I, I screw up. I hit the corners. I expect the same thing. No, they're right between. The, <laughs> the master, I think, missed more shots. So, it's just, it, it feels like it's really the same AI. There's not even difficulty settings. So, I'm hoping that's just my perception of it. But... <laughs> That's what I've experienced so far. So let's, let's let's go here, and then we'll challenge our player two to US eight ball, because that's the one I know most. Okay, so here we are. We are using mouse and keyboard with this. So keyboard doesn't really do anything. You've got you know D apparently brings you up, which it doesn't show here. F will place the ball. Or you can move the ball, so you can bring it up and down, which is cool. Your mouse, right-clicking, does this. As you can see, I right-click on the ball. I kind of expect the ball to move with the mouse, but no, it's got this little rubber banding. So as you go farther away, it accelerates more and more. It's like a controller would. Well, I'm using a mouse and keyboard. Why am I being limited by a controller when I have something that has very fine precision? It doesn't make any sense. And then if you left click, you can move the ball with the exact same rubber banding type system. It accelerates based on how far you pull it away. It's kind of annoying. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's kind of frustrating to do this. You know, you don't have very good control. And it, it's frustrating. It really is frustrating. So we'll put it down. Okay, so now we can move the angle just like we could when we had the ball up. Or you can you press S for fine control, which makes it even harder to move. Not required on a PC, if you did it correctly. And then you can apply a spin, which has the same kind of elastic banding type trick going to it. Hooray! And then you can press D to stand up. And if you if you look around, it changes your position on the ball. So now you've got to line it up again. Spend four hours lining it up. Take a look to make sure you can see everything. And you're all cocked up. And then you have to spend that time to do it again. That's that not cool. So Let's 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 take our shot <laughs> with this really really stupid setup. So all you do is you left click, and they did this right. You know it follows the mouse cursor, and depending on how hard and how fast you move it, it depends on how hard and how fast you hit the ball. But this is annoying. Like, you can kind of see the lines here. Let's bring this closer. So you see this yellow line. That's the direction that it's going to go. So you kind of use that to line yourself up. Like, this this one's not going to work at all. Whoa. This just displays the issues. This, this game has issues with control on PC. Come on. Like, why am I fighting? Why do I have to fight a game to play it? This this is this is what I this is what you have to ask yourself. Why am I fighting this game? Oh, that almost went off. That should have actually gone off. It's kind of unfortunate. There. <laughs> just just sink that. 
So, all in all, like, the game itself, the physics, the everything works really well together. But the controls, the user interface, are an effort in frustration. Yeah, see, I, I, I messed that one up. I've read on the forums that there's a lot of people with issues um, with the field of view. I actually don't find the field of view too bad, but I do agree it could be better. Like, I should be able to see more to the right and left of the table. If you want to be able to make like a fancier shot, you can't really do that in this game. Because you just you can't see enough but I don't consider it too much of an issue I really don't it's it's it could be way way worse let's do that Wow that didn't go in all right anyway so let's let's hop out of here and we're gonna actually restart this and yes. So now I'm actually gonna switch over to a controller because this, this is presumably how this was made. This was designed for consoles, designed for a controller. So it should work perfect with a controller, right? Well, I'm gonna move the ball to the right. <laughs> Left. Oh, they've got the controls mirrored for left and right. That's not confusing at all. I don't know whether it's like this on the console, but it sure is shit like that on PC. Just doesn't make sense. The rotation, the rotation is fine when it comes down to using a controller. It works as intended, you know? You push the stick a little bit, it moves a little bit. And the farther you push the stick, the faster it goes. That allows for some good control when using a controller not using a mouse and keyboard the menu works as expected on a controller it's it's, it's not rocket science here you know you press a to go in press B to get back it says it right down below a and B there we go so Let's, let's try to line this up. We have to mirror our brain. Press Y to drop it. And break. For the most part, it works really well. It does, it does what it says on the tin. With controller. I still can't line up with crap. But, you know, that's a personal problem. It's just, it's kind of frustrating to have to fight with a PC game that's supposed to be a P, that's not where I was expecting to put it. You're, you're trying to play a PC game that was supposedly developed for PC and console almost at the same time. But its interface is actually stopping you from doing it. It's, it's, it's wrong. It really is wrong. And quite irritating. <laughs> I've just moved everything over to that corner. So, that, my final verdict, it's not worth it. It's not worth the price that they're asking. $12.99 is too much to ask for a game that they clearly didn't care about. They didn't care enough to make it usable by the average person, or even the not average person. I cannot fathom what their thought process was to mirror the controls. Like, I get it, if you want to make that an option, 
but that's not an option that should be default. You know, most people don't think, oh, I'm gonna put, I wanna go right, so I'm gonna push left. It's just not something that enters people's minds. All in all, physics-wise, it's phenomenal. Everything works well, everything looks amazing. I see no reason why this shouldn't be a really, really good game. Except that they screwed up on the menu and the controls. The whole, re the whole way to play the game has been messed with and is a joke. And there goes the eight ball, huh? Oh, no. It's just, it's, it's fun. I'll, I'll give it that, it is fun. But it's not, it's, it's more frustrating than fun. And kind of slow at times when using anything. And there. Wow, that didn't go in, the white ball's gonna go in, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. I've said what I need to say. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've played this game and if you've had similar experiences to me. And I will see you next time.